I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? <laughs> <laughs> but quit halfway. here. That didn't work. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this Palperon loops around too, so... <laughs> stronger prey. the slums. <laughs> Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Nah. Me? I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. 
don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. Bring it. Here goes. Get ready. That's that. That'll do. Bring it. You've got this. I got this. <laughs> Nothing to it. door that was stuck. Maybe it opens from this side? You're dead. <laughs> 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 
Get ready. Enough. Moving on then. Don't think it'll open. What to do? That gate just doesn't want to open, does it? Maybe there's a way to get over it? For you, at least. you'd find a way. Yes, we're home free. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Forget about the Turks. Ah. They'd come at us any time. Keep an eye out. Uh, that's I'm glad the station. I moved here, but this place takes getting used to. <sighs> Just when it so, do down. you think this means another war's coming? The Sector Five slums are right there. Got it somewhere. What are they watching? Uh, hey! Hey, hey! I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? There's still a lot of smoke rising from the rubble. So they don't have to break While the fallen beams and other debris continue to hinder rescue efforts, the fires appear to have been mostly extinguished. So we help catch the bombers. We get a reward or something? That's the director of Shinra's Defense Weaponry Division, isn't it? Enough of that doom and gloom. Excuse me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. Can you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? What kind of damage did it suffer in the explosion? Are we in any danger? Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh. <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! All right, let's go. Do that. Why the hell would anyone do that? We need to 
stand up and fight Man, I can't decide where to go. Oh, what timing? Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but... I help out every now and then. It's fun. Exactly! They're what give the local cuisine the flavor you can't find anywhere else. That's so true. Eris! No could get their food to taste quite like this. Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. Two peas in a pod. Uh. Uh, Aaron! So, what are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, I guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard, just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm, maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. I'm Here's the leaf house. There you are. We're back! And we brought Aerith with us! Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will. And I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. Grow big and young. I hope you grow nice and big. Biggs gave me a bunch of his favorites, and I'm gonna read them all. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm. What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway.
My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> My house is this way. Come on. I'm home. Hey, baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud. My bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep. Thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <laughs> then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly? I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the leaf house. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. That Aerith, she's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. No, never mind. Hmm. 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 Take this one. Huh? Um. Take it. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Right. Off we go. <sighs> and these right here are my babies. Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing.
That's the one I gave you. Huh. It is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Whoa, foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you, I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? under the gun or anything I'm not cut out for this crap sure you are and when you're done you'll be drowning in job offers so how do you think they'll arrange these flowers don't know well, we'll soon find out. wait out here oh okay but I might be a while why not check out the town Where's Aaron? The Leaf House. How about it? You hungry? Furthermore, the initial reports confirm that Aaron in the neighborhood. Ah, I can't leave without telling her. What'll it be for you today? Take care of my equipment, you hear? Cloud, 
I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat... obtuse. Please let me know when you have made your preparations. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new material. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. Yeah! 
Get up. Standing. The Shiva summoning materia is complete. And now it's yours. Use it as you see fit. The Lady of Frost is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Man. There's nothing you can't get your hands on in this town. Materia, scrap, you name it. Come back anytime. say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. 
They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. to grown-ups but if we want to rescue them well we gotta break the rules Oats! you're back Eric's come to help yeah leave it to us we'll take care of it from here but there are monsters out there don't worry I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. Pretty flower, pretty blue flower, won't you talk to me? You guys have got to hurry and find our friends, okay? <sighs> They ran off this way. Be careful. <sighs> Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope we find them in time. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to it. Piece of cake. Let's do this. It's over. Let's go. Let's finish this. 
Head back. This isn't good. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that. Oh, yeah! Yeah. It was really cool when you went like, yeah, yeah. You've got it all wrong. Like that. No way. It was way faster than that. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Fine. Then how about. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? Tifa, wait! Tifa! Tifa! 
Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Then you must be from the legendary. My dad told me that that man. He used to be a soldier when he was younger. Hey, Cloud. I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. I'll make sure to tell everyone around that you're here to help out. That way, you might keep going. Oh my! Is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium! I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest. So he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But you'll need to buy a membership first. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. 
I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Kuko. Until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile from ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Kupo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys.
Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. Sure you want to fight? I'll take care of them. You'll see. So long. It's your turn. Let's do this. Punch through. Right. We gotta hurry. Yeah. 
Nothing to it. The Sector Five Undercity Specialty Meatballs. Seriously. I'll show you what I can do. That's that. Focus. Shit. Go on. Bam. Go on. That's it. Here we go. Many citizens throughout the city are also voicing their anger and... I heard, I heard! You got them all, right? Instead of our regular Robots program, from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Be Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? Tomorrow. They must have thought they were protecting the reactor, and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine? Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? You 
must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. No turning back. No holding back. Let's do this. 
You're out of luck. So long. This must be it. Hey, you want to say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot, maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Magi. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good, because I command a very good salary. You're a real dick, you know that? But on the bright side, it seems he's all fired up again. Money! That's all you kids think about! I may as well keep working till the day I die. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. That's a lesson for my See you soon! don't you think great job that's wonderful <sighs> isn't it oh I nearly forgot I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago he was dressed all in black a little scary looking Soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? 
You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Hey there. How goes the patrol? Yeah. Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! Hello, Cloud. Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. The reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. Then I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Moggy's kind of interesting, huh? He's weird, but he makes everyone around him really happy. You'll see. Oh, 
You scared me. Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. Anti-Wu-Tite sentiment has reached a fever pitch in the city. It's hard to see information about the That's solid. And amid this city many believe that... They the line. Those avalanche guys are unbelievable. Do I need to make a new This here's the Sector 5 Community Center. Wow! You're that soldier, right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh, yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The Watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout. Then that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us! Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if he won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. You can beat the Toad King no problem, right? I mean, you're a soldier. I know you can do it. Um, can I pet him? Oh, it'd be great if they asked us again. He promised you to won't take stop telling us stories about that damn reaction. Bring it. Enough. Just go. Not bad. Guess I got him. No holding back. <laughs>
Come on. I'm with you. Let's go. Go on. Get ready. I'm coming. You've got this. Hang back. It's on you. I'll take care of him. My turn. Hey. Nothing to it. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much. Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia, you must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is, but I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family, a real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the key. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout.
I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happened. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. Moggy's kind of interesting, huh? He's weird, but he makes everyone laugh. Welcome, Koopa! Have a merry Moogle day, Koopa. He doesn't see me. Be quiet. Well, what do you think? Do I have wooden tape? Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. You'll never be any good unless you whack, ha. whack, whack.
started with these seven like man. It'd be great if they had I don't think I know you. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. Put those days of war and death behind us. Why, hello! Who is the let guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure, always talked about but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Murray, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty that Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity or whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Nice boy who ended up working for the So, any news? Have you tried talking to Murray at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille? As in THE Mireille? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. A plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. 
If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. I made a promise to... Uh, did you know? <laughs> How about it, man? Yeah. I heard there's someone going around. Sure, I'll catch you. Come on, take it. SAD's crews are in high demand. So, do you think this means another war is coming? I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. It's over. Get ready. Let's go. There. Huh. That's it. Huh. And catch. 
Okay. Go on. Go. Brace yourself. It's on now. This one's for you. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the Angel herself! Hmm... So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinma reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time, he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the Angel. A warning! If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. No harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's pocket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home.
it isn't you to go when I I got plans tonight. Can't wait. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No holding No need to get back! Stay back! Shit! Here it comes. Why don't you leave us alone? No. What the? That'll do! I'm trying, but... Gotta get a little hate to my partner. Come on, man. I see you. Enough! Please, 
Just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. Hey there, partner. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job at something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? Wait a sec. So, you coming? talking to the Shh. so yeah it was that kind of day <sighs> let's go shouldn't keep mom waiting hey what'd they say good work today guys Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. <sighs> Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flowers say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit.
You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <clears throat> Don't want to overstay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If it isn't the new florist. I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. 
Sure. about a coincidence what are you doing here waiting why because I'm not sick of you yet <laughs> lead on then with pleasure <laughs> nothing. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market, a real special place. But, I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Any 
time now. Seriously. Go on. Let's do this. Slap. Enough. This one's for you. That wasn't so bad. What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Trucking. Someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment.
I've got this. Don't you mean we got this? Try me. That's it. See ya. Get on now. That's it. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? easier yes ma'am well then I'm gonna head down second. Gotcha. Not too fast, okay? Got it.
Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Campament and composite... I don't get it! Nah. How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is like... Uh, it's like... Compensation... For damages! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you... No, but when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense. That's all. <laughs> due recompense! Due recompense! Due, due recompense? Uh, no, shit, for brains. Due recompense. It's like, uh... uh it's like, uh... Compensatory damages! Oh, of course! So damages recompense! I, get it. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Let's do this. Go on! Got you, boy. <laughs> See ya. No so way! So it's my turn? That'll do! You can do it! I'll show you what I can do! Sorry, but I gotta... Okay, guys, what you do, don't move. Don't look! Don't look! I'm dead. I'm super dead. <laughs> Soldier. That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Huh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it?
gotcha. for you in a sec.
That went pretty well. Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it right there, lover! <laughs> You want to pass through our territory? Then you gotta pay the toll. So it's my turn. Good night. Come on. One more shot. Get ready. This one's for you. We made it. Smell the fresh air? All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! time ago I used to sell flowers here oh yeah <sighs> so cloud you were a soldier first class right yeah Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. Here. Hmm? This won't take long. <sighs> Ready. 
Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And... if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. <laughs> Guess this is it, then. Ready? Yeah. going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Okay. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... <laughs> What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... Um... She's a great fighter. I'm not sure that helps. Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. Oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Haven't scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. 
And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon, if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Good job today, boy. It's just like I've been saying. There's no faster thing on two legs than you. Hey, newbie. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Huh? These ones addressed to Don Corneo? Yes, idiot. Those ones. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. So, what kind of mischief you looking to get up to tonight? That's me done for the night.